Hi everyone, welcome. Hey Gemini, this is your video. This is your time, <laughs> your me time, quote unquote. So welcome to the channel, my name is Catherine. Nice meeting you for the newcomers and thank you to the returning subs, obviously for being here. So guys, uh, I was thinking of looking into September. Of course, uh, we're almost there. But since there's a full moon in Pisces, just next next week I thought it's impossible that we overlook that um, because it's a blue moon so for my part I'm gonna make a wish it's a such a rare occasion that I feel it's it'd be auspicious to wish for the <laughs> wish for the stars or to the stars <laughs> mm. So I don't know what you're thinking or what you are wishing, but we're going to look at that maybe through the cards. If not, we'll just let the cards also tell you what could be happening on that day and what you could be feeling and experiencing. So let's start. Seven of Pentacles. Are you waiting for results? Are you waiting for an outcome? So maybe you've started something a while back. Maybe you're seeing some signs of like something is happening. Something is finally showing itself for you. But it would still be like only little sprouts, right? But you're very patient about it. That's the good thing. Let's keep pulling. The strength in the reverse maybe you're not so patient anymore maybe you were patient <laughs> and now you're starting with the strength in the reverse you're starting to feel like okay it's been a while now uh let's see you know i want to i want more results i want to i want to see something progress um maybe that's the case here <laughs> so let me keep pulling for you the king of swords so this could be someone outside of you, but it could be an energy of you just being on your, um, how do you say, like super focused, very, um, I don't know, determined, most likely about whatever you're waiting on. There's an energy that this really points to something that you've strategized, that you've put in place a while back, fairly recently, but it's still something that has happened. So on that day, it feels like maybe you'll be making decisions um, or really wanting to, to either tweak the, the plan, the initial plan. Maybe you see results at this point small ones but maybe it's making you evolve um, or kind of keep working at the plan and like adjusting to whatever is coming and however it's unfolding for you the fool in the reverse so again you're cautious about not being too impatient and i think maybe that's one of the decisions that you're making but it's also in, in the light of what you discover and what you find out that is actually showing up for you. No matter how small that is at the, at the moment or in the moment. You don't want to make anything, any foolish moves, basically. Um, you're, bit, you're very much, you're very smart about that. You're very smart about you know, measuring the consequences of your actions. So that's really, really clear here. <laughs> Let's see what else. The so page of pentacles in the reverse. Why is that? It feels different. Ten of pentacles in the reverse. Your money's coming up greatly. There's, for some reason, you're bleeding money, quote unquote. So maybe you have a big expense that's coming up or that you have just spent the money for against 
like maybe it was something salty, something you didn't expect. So like a, what we call it a salty bill, you know, like expensive. <laughs> Too high for your liking, let me put it that way. Um, and it's not a, it's, it's really quite expensive. I don't know what it is. Uh, let's keep pulling. And then you get news about it or news about what? Maybe something else. Okay, seven of cups in the reverse. It feels, um, I know this is not the typical interpretation, but it feels like you're sorting out something. So it feels like you're discussing um, with whoever that's irrelevant, but you're addressing something verbally and you're working out something and that something is very specific. And I think it points back to your money and a particular, it could be a contract, it could be an offer, an opportunity that had presented itself that maybe didn't pan out the way you thought that ended up costing money instead of <laughs> bringing in money. You know, sometimes you do invest to make more money, but sometimes it, it doesn't work out, right? So maybe you've lost some money in a deal. Those are only suppositions and, you know, I'm giving you examples, but I mean, take it how it resonates, obviously. <laughs> but it's extremely specific. And I think it's an investment. It comes back to something that you would have expected um, a return on your investment. So I don't mean to make the reading specific, but it's, it's going in that direction. <laughs> Let me pull one more card and see um, how you work things out. Page of Cups. It's really interesting. You have the Fool in the reverse and you have three pages. So there's a lot of young energy around you. I sense that there's people that are maybe less experienced than you because you're quite an expert here with the King of Swords. You're really the person, you're the go-to, you're the kind of the mentor or the... Definitely, you're the specialist. And so the outcome here is positive. Um, so whatever you're working out feels like it'll smooth out. Not sure exactly why or how I should say, or both. <laughs> One, one thing is how you address it. And I think that the way you work it out verbally, because the King of Swords is also really apt at, you know, conversations and debates and winning arguments. <laughs> so you're definitely equipped. And for some reason, maybe you're getting your, let me put it this way. You're getting a positive response. This is what you're emitting and this is what you're receiving. So whoever you're addressing regarding the money, it could be a youngster or someone younger than you, at least less experienced, that's for sure. But it works out well. So that's really good news here. Let me see what else uh, I could tell you without pulling any more cards. <laughs> I just want to show you, I want to go back to a lack of restraint and on the opposite, like holding back basically from doing something too rashly. So there's going to be a push and pull energy within you think it's because you don't want to lose whether it's the money or an, an opportunity or whatever energy you've been putting in right you don't want it to go to waste so 
Let, let's make it general in this way. And so you're feeling a push and pull here because you want results and yet you know it's not wise to actually push and be expectant or demanding in, in, a, you know, in this way. So you're, you're really exerting a lot of detachment, a lot of restraint. It's a beautiful energy of control, self-control. Gorgeous. I salute you for that. <laughs> I don't want to pull any more. I think I will leave the message here. Um, you know, this is like for a one day kind of vibe that we're, we were exploring together. So hopefully something pans out or turns out to be sort of your story. Let me know in the comments. Uh, it's really nice to know who's behind the camera and who's actually watching and what you feel and think about the readings. I love to engage with you guys. Please like the video, of course. You know what to do. Please share and subscribe if you have not. <laughs> Thank you again. Good night. Take care.